welcome welcome to day number 11 if i'm not mistaken of hashtag goatover so in the last video we saw this uh reviewing a complex steel weave transformation use case uh that we were using inside the add index sale recursive function so if you go to this other repo again you can find it here here's a link if you go to this other repo and you scroll down till the end in the code so i am on the code v2 dwl file if you go to the end you will have this example of recursive function which is not tail and this example of tail recursive function so I'm going to show you the difference between these two. You can just take this function here. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to do some 254. It's just going to do like a summation of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all until 254. This is the result. But then if we do 255 instead of 254 then we receive a stack overflow error and it's saying the max stack is 256 which is including the zero index so that's why using recursive function is um risky you can get this error if you ex exceed the number of recursive functions that you can use so if we instead of using the sum function, we use this sum tail function. This is a tail recursive function. And the, here we have the 254 that worked in the last scenario. So nothing new here. But if I put 255, then it doesn't break. It doesn't send me the stack overflow error. So I can add any number here that I want and it's still going to process, see this huge number. So that's the difference between recursive function and tail recursive function. Now, what exactly is that difference? If you can see here, I'm gonna take this back. If you can see here, these two different functions, this is the recursive function. And as you can see, it only has one parameter which is uh, this number. So whatever number I'm sending, the thing is like, if number is more than zero, then I'm going to send the number that I received plus the summation again of this number minus one. So first it's going to start with uh, 255. Let me see if I can log this actually. So I'm logging the number that we are receiving here before the doing the sum. So first I receive two, or let me just go lower. Oh, I cannot scroll down. Let me just go lower on this. Let's just say five. So I first receive a five. Um, and then I do number plus, and then the summation. So we are now sending here number minus one, which is four. And we send this to the same function. So it comes here to the function and now number is four. So then it goes again, four minus one is three, two, one. And we end up summing all of them. So we sum five plus four plus three plus two plus, plus one. And that's how we end up with this summation. Now the difference on the sum tail is that instead of sending this sum directly like just appending whatever number i have plus this the results of this other uh function it will go just like like a tree right it will start here and then go here and then go here and then go back and send the result and on this case of the tail recursive function um the thing is that you're sending two parameters. You're sending the number, which is the same thing that you're sending, which this one. You're sending the number, which is the same number that you're sending here. But then you're also sending the result. You're not just sending the one parameter. You're also sending the result, like appending the result into each iteration that you do. So now you do the same if here, if number plus, um, it's more than zero 
then start doing the sum tail. So here you can see already a difference. Let me take out the log. This is just doing number plus and then the, the call to the function. And this is calling the function again entirely. It's not doing the summation right there. So it's calling the function again. And now it's saying number minus one, same as we did here. But then in the result, it's sending the result plus the number. So we start with the result and our default is going to be zero. So we start with a zero. Let me log that. Uh, result plus number. Let me log the result. And now if we see the log viewer, notice that I'm not logging the number. I'm logging the result. Okay, let me log the number just in case, just so you can see this. Let me do here number, comma, result. And this will output this. My result is still 15, nothing changed there. Now I'm logging. So my first number is five, same as last, uh, we did the log here. It's the same. We have five, four, three, two, one. But then the result, when we start the first function call, it starts with five and it gives us a zero. Then we have a number four and it gives us a five because zero plus five and then five plus four give us nine and then nine plus three, 12. 12 plus 2, 14. And finally, 14 plus 1. And that is the output that we have here. So as you can see, it's different because we are sending the results in each iteration. So the tree is not going like here and here and here and then back, back, back. This is just going like to from this function to the other function in array has the result. So it's just like ending <laughs> the, the connection there and recalling another function. But it's, it's not waiting. Like it doesn't go pa 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 and then pa 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 again. It just, I don't know how to explain that. Um, it, it doesn't go deep into the tree. It just keeps calling the function. So that's the difference. And if you want to see real life examples about what I'm talking about, you can see the differences between this recursive function get children and between these other tail recursive functions um, and see how in each one of these ones, I'm always sending the result back in the function to do something with it instead of just expecting it to give me the result right at the end and keeping all of those iterations in memory. All right, um, I hope you liked this video. On the next video, we're going to continue seeing these tail recursive functions. And let me know if you have anything else that, I, uh, that you want me to check. Um, this is hashtag GoTover. Subscribe, follow me on socials, and thank you for watching. All right, see you on the next video. Bye.